band played on. Internal, the Miner's Arms, evening. Ron and Mike are watching the band play. The bar is almost empty. The band is awful. Ron sips at his wine, drumming, tapping to the music. Mike shakes his head in despair. God, oh, they're just dreadful. I've done screaming, tight ass farts that sound better than these guys. How'd they even get this gig? Who knows? Not the most salubrious venue in Leeds, is it? They may not be the best in the world. Right there. They're so far from the best in the world, I reckon they're close to mining a set of vocal ranges each on the outer columns of your ears. But look at them. They know how to play an audience. That, that guy in the lead, man, he's a real showman. Thinks he's playing the O2, never mind the miner's arms. Ron, there's a sum total of eight people in here and we're two of them. I'm not sure that qualifies as an actual living, breathing audience. I know that look on your face. Tell me you know. You are, aren't you? You can't. So this, this is a partnership, you know. I have a say in this. Of course you do. I know what I'm doing. You know as well as I do that we need a hit. A hit, yes. A hit being the operative term. No, we're not going to get that with a bunch of talentless, tone-deaf morons. Did you, did you know? Morons in Welsh means carrots. And given our leading man there has ginger hair, it's quite apt that you think. Well, screw me sideways like a rabbit. I actually didn't know that. Did you also know that? I don't actually give a French flying... Let's not be letting the tone degrade. You know I don't like you getting all offensive. Let's get over there for them, have a bevy and we can have a chat. I don't believe you're doing this. There must be 101 bands that can actually play that need signing. And how many are going to sign with us? When was the last big gig Gun and Black Management put out there? This is our chance to get back into the game. Hit the big time. The Brits, you, me, champagne, awards, rubbing shoulders with Ed Sheeran. With you on that, then. Front table, in the thick of it. But Christ almighty, we'd have a better job of winning a Brit if we sang and danced ourselves. Look at them. Mikey boy, you just trust your old bud Ron. I got a vision. That vision of yours is sure as hell not linked to your eyes. Nor your ears, that's a bit definite. Johnny on stage throws his arms in the air in a big rock and roll look at me gesture. Johnny bashes the drums and the guitars do their final riffs and bass chords. Thank you very much everyone, you've been just awesome. Mike claps vigorously. Five of the other people dotted around the pub clap with little enthusiasm. Rod, Ron, Ron heads to the stage and speaks with Johnny. Hey there, my man. That was some entertaining stuff you guys did. Ah, oh, great. Glad you liked it. Yeah, I'm uh, Ron and my, my partner and me, we're, uh, we're industry managers. Well, we'd like to have a word or, or two with you and your friends. Managers? Like music band managers? Yeah, yeah, that's us. Pack your kit, join us for a drink and a chat. Sure thing. Give us five. Ron returns to his seat with Mike. They're interested. Focus switches to the band. Dave winds up his guitar lead and then unwinds it to pack it a little tighter. Dave, can you not for heaven's sake stop fussing around like an old woman just this one time? The cable needs wrapping just once. Do we have a Dave? Can you just read Dave as well, please? Um, yes, I just What's it to do with you? It's my cable, I'll do it how I like. Stop bickering, oh. those guys want to talk to us. What about? Be you born this dumb, or have you taken lessons from Boris Johnson? What did I say? I just asked a civil question. And who's Boris Johnson? They say they're music management. Like real managers? No, like fake managers made out of candy floss. It's just as well you can actually play the bass because you're sod all use for anything else. Leave him alone, Mary. Let's see what they've got to say. 